Hi everyone, welcome back to my art channel. My name's Mark, for those of you that haven't met me before. And to those of you that have come back, thank you so much for being here. So today I'm going to continue doing some multicolour bases. So this time I'm using a gold and a copper. And then I'm going to puddle some paints on top, blow them out and use my finger to do some finger swipes within the piece to connect the puddles themselves, but to also create some movement. But this time I was thinking, how about we have colour on the base, which will be the gold and the copper, but just keep it to a black and white puddle on top. So I'm going to try it and see what happens. So I'm going to layer my base, blow that out so it's all chaotic, gold and copper. And then on top, I'm probably going to do two, maybe three puddles of black and white on top. Multi layers, black, white, black, white. And then I'm going to blow it out. And I'm really excited to see how the paint reacts. So I hope you're ready for this. And I hope you'll follow me all the way throughout the video because I give hints and tips throughout. So let's see what we can create. So here are the colours that I'm using. I've got the gorgeous Deco Art metallic gold. I've got Pebeo's iridescent copper, and then Amsterdam's lamp black and titanium white. So the copper and the gold are gonna be used on my base as my base color. I've mixed my paints with pouring medium and water. All those details will be in the description box below, so don't forget to check those out. You can see it's very fluid, just runs off my spatula, leaves a mark on the surface of the paint and then disappears. So, the gold and the copper for the base, it's a 20 by 20 inch canvas. As you can see, I have already painted my sides with the copper just to get good coverage. And then that means once I blow the paint over the sides, I just let it drip. I take all the drips off and then I don't have to touch up my sides. All I'm going to do is puddle the white and the black on top of the metallic colors. So I'm gonna start off with the copper. So I'm placing the copper paint onto the base of the canvas, just in a random order. And then I'll take my gold and also place that on top. Once I've done that, I'll take my blow dryer and I will merge those paints in together. There's a slight bit of paint just so that I want to get before I blow that out because I don't want any blobs of paint on there. But what I would say is as I start this, I've got every intention to blow this out and to add the black and the white puddles. But stick with me because this piece is going to change and it's going to really evolve. And I can't wait for you to see how this turns out. We'll go through each of the processes and we'll learn so much from this piece. So stick around and you can spot yourself what you might do differently and what you do the same.
I'm so happy with this base coverage and how those colours have reacted with each other. So I'm just going to take you in now for a close up of the base colour before we start puddling the black and white puddles onto the canvas itself. Okay, so the base is done and now it's time to start puddling the black and white puddles onto this canvas. I think I'm going to do three puddles in total. I'm starting off with the black and then I'm going to use the white and I'm going to repeat that a couple of times. So you'll see black, white, black, white on each of those puddles. I'm just taking my torch to get rid of any of the air bubbles before I start blowing these puddles into each other and out across the canvas to a composition that I'm really happy with. And then I'll add in a finger swipe. So I'm just going to take my blow dryer now and spread some of the black and white paint out across the base of this canvas. I really love how the black and white really pops against the copper and the gold base. But as I'm doing this, I'm really unsure about how those puddles are maintaining. What I mean is the gold and the copper is a different density to the black and the white. So I can see almost instantly the black and the white is being swallowed up. And what that means is it's falling through the gold and the copper colours. So the gold and the copper are really kind of coming to the surface and the black and the white is dropping to the base. But you know what? I think there's also a lot of paint on my canvas too. So I'm just going to stick with it for now. I'm going to blow out the puddles, but then I'm going to stop, step back and reevaluate the actual design. And you'll see how this can be really transformed into a really special piece. I stick with the colour palette. I add the black and white as planned. But you'll see how this really transforms. So stick around so you can see how this piece goes from this to something different.
before I give up or not necessarily give up before I reassess what I'm going to do. I'm just going to blow some of that paint down the sides and off the canvas and re-puddle the area of the black and white just to see if I can make this work. Seeing how the black and white is reacting with the base and how that black is almost creating like a shadow effect in this piece, I'm starting to get a completely different idea for this piece. And I'm thinking about how I can tweak it to still create something beautiful using just these four colors. But I'm gonna puddle again, just the black and white again in this area and blow it out just to see if I can maintain these puddles. Now, I'm suspecting not because there's a few reasons why I think they're reacting the way that they are. It's about the density of the paint and the volume of the paint that's already on the canvas. But I'm gonna go through the motion, I'm gonna go through the process because I feel like this is a learning point for all of us. So stick around and see how this really transforms. I really still do love how the black and white pops against the metallic colors that are on the base of the bronze, not the bronze, of the copper and the gold. But wait until you see what I do next and I think it will be a really good decision. Let me take you in now for a close-up of this version. This isn't going to be the final version, guys, so stick with me because you'll see how this changes again. I've got to be honest guys I really don't like the piece that I've done <laughs> so what I've learned with this is the metallics on the base so the gold and the copper have swallowed up the black and the white that's because of the density of the paints and I've also got probably too much paint on my canvas so I'm not going to let this deter me I am going to switch it up a bit and change the design I still want a burst of black and white so I'm going to take some of the paint off my canvas. I'm just going to literally tilt the, the paint off the canvas and then I'm going to layer my black and white again and try and blow that out. Although I know that I'm going to have a minimal amount of flow left on the canvas because I'm going to get rid of quite a lot of the base colour. But these things happen, right? So this is all about your creative process. This is all about learning what works, what doesn't work. And it's the things that don't work that really teach us those lessons and help us evolve as artists. So 
I'm not going to let this deter me. I'm going to carry on. Let's see how it progresses. So I've decided to just use my blow dryer because I know there's a good amount of paint already on this canvas. I don't want too much wastage, although I'm going to change up the design. So I said earlier that the density of the paint really matters and the black and the white has been swallowed up by the copper and the gold. So technically the black and the white paint are still there. It's still within this canvas, it's just not on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my blow dryer and section by section, I'm going to blow the paint off from the center to the edges. I'm going to create that movement and that depth by maintaining a blowout from the center right to the edge and allowing the paint to really merge together. The black and white are there. So that's going to really add some depth to this piece as I blow it out from the center. So bear with me and see how this piece really transforms. And this is gonna be something that I'm gonna be really happy with and I can't wait for you to see the final version. So remember, there are always some options before you decide to completely scrape off your canvas and start again. It may be that you just change your intention or change the technique that you're doing. So I've learned about the densities of the paint really do matter and the volume of the paint that you already put onto your canvas really does affect that final design. So let's watch now how by just using the blow dryer and working from the center to the outer edge can really transform this piece without wasting too much paint. We're using the paint that we've already got on there to transform this piece and create a completely different design. I am so, so happy with how this turned out. I'm going to take you in now for a close-up of the wet version. 
I'm going to pop on again with some wise words and then I'll take you in for a close-up of the dried version and I absolutely love it. It wasn't what I intended but surprisingly something still worked because we thought out about the process of why something didn't work, we learned why it didn't work but we used our skills and our experience to transform the piece into something that we were happy with. So I just wanted to come back on camera. This is probably the most you've seen me on camera recently. And just say, remember, right? If things don't go according to plan. So do you remember right at the beginning, I said I was gonna do a multicolored base. I was gonna have puddles of black and white. And as I was going through that creative process, it just wasn't working. And it just wasn't working as I intended it, but as you know, I really practice mindfulness creatively about being in the present moment and enjoying the creative process. And what that meant for me with this was I had to change my plan and just really kind of immerse myself in the here and now and learn from what kind of mistakes I made. Again, remember, we don't make mistakes. We learn from our lessons. So. I just wanted to say when things don't go according to plan, there are ways to tweak a piece or completely change the direction that you were going in. So I'm gonna let this dry. You better be good. <laughs> you better be good and dry well because I actually really love the design now on top. It's a complete blowout. It's got so many of those kind of details in that I love and just by using four colors, so I've not changed the colour palette, it was just the black and the white, the copper and the gold. It's created a really interesting piece and as you know, I'm a huge fan of nature and I really feel like this is a really kind of piece to celebrate nature and yeah. So let's let this piece dry, it will be okay and remember when you're creating don't be too hard on yourself. Just enjoy being in the moment and enjoy that process. So guys, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll take you in for a close up of the dry version. So finally, a piece that I'm happy with. Here are the closer details of this version. You can see all those cells and some of that lacing some of those lines, and you'll see how some of those colors have really merged together to create a really stunning piece. And I really do get a nature vibe from this. So in all, we got there in the end, we didn't give up, and we created something that wasn't necessarily our initial intention, but we created something that we were happy with. So thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope to see you again in the next video and take care. See you soon. Bye.